factory on their bikes. And uh, obviously this team grew out of those guys in their spare time, having a laugh, doing crossovers, doing tricks and stuff. And uh, they made it a full-time team in 1921. And you were one of the founder members. <laughs> Am I showing my age, Rowan? Just, just a few wrinkles there. So, it's a, what's the regiment called? The Royal Court of Signal. Yes, the Royal Court of Signals. And the team is called the Royal, oh, sorry, the, the White Arbors as well. Right, so, but your normal signals presumably have a bit of electricity, or is it whistles and flags? Ah, not quite whistles and flags, although there probably are still a few people who were taught whistles and flags. I think they do that in the Navy still. Right, so how many boys are in the team? 22 at the moment, including myself and uh, all riders. So, I am told at some point there are all the riders in there, but only five bikes. Uh, yes, yeah, we have a couple of tricks where there's only five bikes in and all the riders. Are. 16 actually on that one trick. So, uh, that's pretty hairy. Yeah, no, the guys um, do a good job of uh, pretending to look like they're not bus buyers, but actually every single time they go out, it's you know quite dangerous actually if they come down. Test the sphincter muscle, I would imagine, on a few occasions. Now, the bike you've got, it must be uh, a, virtually a brand new bike for reliability. Uh, well, yeah, it's a British bike, so it's 100% uh, reliable, never let us down ever, no maintenance required. Uh, no, she's a 1976 Triumph. Um, a bit like Trigger's brush, you know, she's had uh, 10 new heads, 